To do an eye exam, the uh, foropter arm needs to be able to lock in position. And so the doctor moves it over the patient and then locks this arm. In order to get a proper lock, sometimes the arm will be out of adjustment and needs to be reset. And there's several screws that are used to bring it into correct alignment. The first step is to loosen the lock screws which are inside this connection. These lock screws go at right angles to the adjusting screw and actually press against the side of the threads of the screw. The purpose is once the adjustment is made it won't be lost once it's locked into place. The two adjusting screws are four millimeter size Allen wrench at the top screw here and at the bottom screw here. By adjusting these two screws what they do is they move this cylinder closer to the tightening mechanism when you turn it clockwise or they turn it away from the locking mechanism when you turn it counterclockwise. The idea is to get the lever to lock without crossing over to the other side. So this adjustment is too loose in that it sort of locks the arm but not with full force <clears throat> and then the uh, it pushed a little further actually flips to the other side and it's now loose. The, the other extreme is when the cylinder is pulled so close to this tightening mechanism that when you tighten the lever to lock it, a lot of times it will bounce back. In this case it's holding the adjustment. But often when it's this tight of a movement, it's, it's difficult to move the arm around. And so now the, the whole arm is difficult to, to move. It's actually too tight in this configuration. Also part of the adjustment is to get the top and bottom evenly adjusted so you're not getting a lot of up and down motion of the, the section of the frotter arm when you tighten. This is the standard length of the uh, tightening lever. If you have a keratometer in the exam room, a keratometer arm in the exam room, there's typically one of these on the keratometer arm and then there's a longer lever on the keratometer arm. The disadvantage of this short section here is the metal stops about right here uh, inside this plastic tube and so it's 
not uncommon for these levers to crack at the plastic and then you have to replace the whole lever which is about uh, $40. The longer arm has a similar problem. You can still crack off the, the end piece here but you can exert more leverage with a, with a long lever than you can with this short version. And as I tighten it here, there's, there's actually a lot of movement of this arm, and so the adjustment is still not correct for this uh, Feropter arm. It's, it's not an even adjustment. It's giving uneven movement of the arm. Okay, so that's close to the end point. Uh, but still not really enough motion of this tightening lever. And there is no one correct setting for this. There's a wide range of uh, positions. But the idea is to tighten it without the arm bouncing back. but not taking so much force to tighten it that it's uncomfortable for the doctor to do. Now if I loosen this just a little bit more, it'll flip to the other side. There, now the adjustment is way too loose. So that's a pretty good outcome now. Then the final step is to tighten the locking screws. And that's a two millimeter size of the uh, Allen screw to lock the uh, adjustment on the Feropter arm.